Hello my friends, good evening. I was just on my way out to the garage just to show you something I've been working on. <laughs> oh, while waiting and trying to get my computer going again, uh, my dad, he's like obsessed with this diet cranberry soda. And you see, it's a beautiful red color. Um, like, apparently if I would, oh my god, oh my god, oh, yeah, I'm going to chiropractor tomorrow, 7.30 a.m., anyway, okay, so, uh, my mom got a whole bunch of them, and she gave me one that was mine, and I told my dad, if you drink any of this, I'm gonna throw a fit, and, uh, I forget what he said, so, what I did I, uh, made a little modification. You see, it's, it's now, it's now cola colored. Well, then I got a really great idea. That's not Pepsi. That's cranberry. But, but it'll be darned if you can tell. <laughs> So this is my secondary laptop, which uh, finally, after three days of pretty much working on it all day, I got it to the point where it is functional. Uh, I got my uh, got Visual Studio Code working again. Oopsie, there it is. We just do a code working. But check this out. I also have Windows subsystem for Linux. Never used it before, but uh, fact of the matter is, oh, am I showing things I shouldn't show? Okay, we're good. Uh, uh, the um, Open Pilot project is Linux based, or app, it, yeah, we'll just call it Linux based, Unix based. Um, so developing on Windows meant lots of, lots of red squiggles. <sighs> so uh, now uh, what I get to do is I can, I can run Visual Studio Code within Windows where, you know, graphics and everything runs better. Um, but it's accessing my repo, which is on... Uh, Linux install um, So I can use the shell scripts and stuff that come with it and instead of having to convert them into batch files like I had been doing um, I'm not super familiar with bash scripts um, so this uh, This is me uh, rewriting my update script uh, so I can pull um commas uh, latest code into my repository which I can then merge into my ver version 2 of my code uh, it's good good stuff but anyway this is cool this this whole editing experience is is really uh, really nice um, let's see this took a couple days because um, I had an issue Okay, we're still good. <laughs> uh, the laptop has a license for home. Uh, I purchased on the store and upgrade to Pro. Right now, uh, Windows is broken. When you do that update from home to Pro, uh, it puts your computer all kinds of messed up. Um, mine wound up on enterprise mode, but it wouldn't activate. I spent all this time trying to... <laughs> figure it out and I actually reinstalled like I had it all almost up to this point and then I discovered that I couldn't access Hyper-V which is kind of important um so I had to reboot or not I, didn't, I actually wouldn't have had to reinstall I found out um all I had to do was call Microsoft and check this out it, this is what the guy had me do he had me search for 
Windows 10 default keys. And I just had to enter this key and boom, activated. This is the touchscreen digitizer from my old, well, my not my old, but from my uh, powerful laptop, um, which, well, the touchscreen is non-functional. Starting with this, this thing, the replacement was about 10 bucks on eBay. Uh, that's supposed to come in a couple days. Um, but, you know, I don't need the super powered laptop, I don't think, so... I don't think I'm going to be held up tomorrow. Well, aside from the chiropractor visit, it's crazy in the morning. And then I've got some other appointment later on. That it has, uh, this here is an M1 Mac Mini that was gifted to me. I uh, currently have it plugged into um, the TV, but that's going to change. Uh... I believe I'm either going to start using iMovie or Final Cut Pro. I haven't decided. It depends what I can, uh, what kind of money I can scrounge up as to whether I can buy Final Cut Pro. Um, because yesterday I, I, I recorded a really great update video for you guys. By great, I mean awful. Uh, it was it was a half hour long by the time I realized that I had spent 20 minutes talking about pens and being left-handed. Totally off topic. Here's our box of doom. Uh, so yesterday, again, I had a revelation while I was looking through this box. Oh my goodness. Um... I'm bleh. I'm going to uh, when I have some video editing software that actually works. I'm I'm gonna get that you know chopped up so I can I can post it. It's you know probably uh, I, all I really did. I flipped everything upside down, and I realized that um, this sodium hydroxide thing uh, using lye is. A freaking great, uh, well, okay, that's not good. We don't want it, uh, coming into contact with the metal. Um, and I'll scrape that off in a minute here. Because that's not, uh, that's not what we want. If that's aluminum, that's gonna start giving off hydrogen gas. Ah, crap. I hope I didn't just break everything. Probably just broke everything. But here you can see, this is an example of the, uh, of what it does. It, uh, it's wet. Why is it wet? Hydrogen, um, not hydrogen, sodium hydroxide loves water so much. Oh my gosh, I just did awful things, didn't I? <sighs> sodium hydroxide loves water so much, it'll, it'll pay too much for it <clears throat> so anyway um this stuff provides a natural indicator for when the desiccation is done that is it gets crusty and you see ooh, uh it looks like it's getting about time maybe i should replace the sodium hydroxide but this means it's pulling water out still um, and it can be used uh, as an indicator um, when it stops caking up or when it stops caking up with any significance uh, then we have absorbed as much water as we're going to <laughs> this bed's trashed okay let's try that that didn't work alright and a list of things that I hate doing <laughs> <clears throat> Changing fitted sheets. It's right at the top of that list. Maybe number three. <sighs> Hang on. Today, at long last, my dad 
Uh, got to take advantage of his Christmas present, and it worked out good for him. I got him a slightly, well, slightly bigger hard drive, but I got him an SSD. Get him out of the Stone Age. Um, I gave him an SSD, and then, um, he also scrounged a bunch of stuff out of my old computer I was just gonna donate. It was a tower. I think I'm done with towers, you know. So, what I got accomplished today as far as Open Pilot is concerned is that my laptop is all set for... <sighs> my backup laptop is all set for everything I need to do on it. Sorry for the heavy breathing. Uh, my lungs are not fully recovered yet. Um, Sorry, hold on. I felt bad about posting that video the other day where I didn't edit it and it needed editing. Um, this one even I'm looking, I'm already at 11 minutes. I still got a bit to talk about. Yesterday I watched some YouTube videos about how to not ramble uh, when you're making YouTube videos. It's kind of meta. <laughs> uh, so, I'm going to take those advices that I heard. I didn't today, but I don't have a means of editing right now. So, you know, yeah, pretty much. Uh, so, this guy, this guy here, dun, 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 dun. I'm not a Mac person. Um, I make fun of Mac people, but I, I am looking forward to seeing the, this crazy video processing performance that a rinky dink arm processor is supposed to be able to do and blow like risins out of the water. It's exciting, um, in a way, but I mean, that thing's a, that's my new tower, I guess. Outlines are the key. Scripts, not so much. Um, outlines are going to help me be more concise. Outlines, uh, recording at a higher resolution so I can do, like, these zoom-in cut things that are, they act, they look pretty cool, I don't know. Um, oh, I got my fan blowing at me again. It's very exciting. I've been freaking hot as hell in this bed. Woke up this morning, and, uh, did I already say this? I'm so sorry that I'm recording these at night when I'm, you know, losing my brains. I tossed and turned so much, I practically, like, pulled all the bedding off the bed. Ugh, freaking crazy. Uh, so anyway, I, I set up that Windows subsystem for Linux. I got my, I got the, uh, oh, repositories pulled down. Um, I'm still, like I said, I'm figuring out shell scripts so I can, um, um, I can get my version 2 code updated. But that's not the priority. I was just doing that while I had, uh, the time. But I didn't have the time to go downstairs, get organized, and start, uh, soldering. Oh, my God. Anyway, you guys are supporting me, and you're watching me. You're giving me your time. I just, uh, you deserve, you deserve for me to respect your time. That's why I apologize for the length of this video. Um... And I didn't post the one from yesterday. Uh, I went so off topic. My dad is so going to retaliate. I don't know what he's going to do. <laughs> uh, I, I instructed my mom to not say anything and not give the bottle to him uh, with the with the cranberry. It's 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 unadulterated cranberry except that I made it brown. So, you know. <laughs> it doesn't taste bad at all. It tastes exactly fine. But it's not. It's not Diet, 
Diet Pepsi in. <laughs> I wish, I wish that, I hope, I hope that I get to see it happen. Uh, but the problem is if she gives it to him, he's probably going to get all mad at her or something. So it needs to, his, his, uh, his ire, I want to be directed at me only. The last several days have been weird in this house. There have just been these weird coincidences happening left and right, and it's not even just me. I don't know if it's a full moon. I don't know if it's my late ex-wife harassing me. I don't know if it's just the universe out to get me and my family, but uh, it's been weird. We had like a smoke detector go off when there was no fire. This whole thing with the laptop not working. I had a, one of my vomit buckets. Sorry to talk about this. It was empty. But I was still keeping it around because I didn't feel so great yesterday. And I was sitting on top of my... Uh, this, uh, I was sitting on top of this, this air conditioner here. Those, uh, the power button. That power button there. That's a, that's a, 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 it's, it's a clicky switch. It's not capacitative or anything. And it takes some force. That bucket is not heavy enough to push the power button. It turned on the air conditioner and then the bucket fell on the floor. My back sometimes likes to go out. Some, yeah, there was a, an accident when I was taking Taekwondo, when I was like in grade school, uh, I fell on my hip and guess what? Now the hip that I fell on, like it's not, I, I can't, I can't lift it. And, uh, it hurts too much and uh, my back goes out periodically. So I hadn't seen my chiropractor in like two years. So I'm going back to my chiropractor only opening the head was at 7.30 in the morning. Um, thank God I can even get up. My God. This is, uh, yeah. I was scared yesterday because I was, I, I was, I got tired at noon and I had to take a nap. And I had made it seven days with no naps. Um, I started freaking out a little bit, actually. Uh, I talked myself down. Talk myself off the ledge. Um, and today was better. So, that's surprising, actually, because my sleep was awful last night. You don't care about this. So, I'm legit afraid to give estimates. Um, my superstition, I'm not actually joking about. It would appear that the universe is, is is out to make me look as bad as possible. So, so many times I've said, oh, it'll be two weeks, it'll be two months, and something disastrous happens. There, last year, there were a lot of disasters, personal disasters for me. Um, just statistically remarkable number of disasters 2021 is acting like it my body wants to be better well as of february i should say <laughs> february 1st so uh i spent two weeks practically unable to eat and i dropped 20 or 30 pounds um and then I got one of these. Uh, it's a... Um, I don't know if I can even show you this thing. It's one of these... Uh, uh, constant, continuous glucose monitoring. Um, oh, I bumped a button. So, today, eh, blood sugar is a little bad, but I have been drinking sugared pop 
and eating desserts like a fool. Uh, let's look at yesterday. Where I didn't. Freaking solid. Solid right around 100. Day before, it, I mean, God, it's freaking glycemic. <laughs> Hypoglycemic, not hyperglycemic. And I'm not taking any insulin. Um, I got yelled at by my doctor for uh, not taking Traceba, which I, quite frankly, I, I, I mean, do I need Traceba? Look at this stuff. I don't really think I do, but she was in a bad mood. So yeah, now I'm pre-diabetic again, instead of diabetic. Um, I'm going to have to start exercising, obviously. I, I need to get walking. Um, I, I watched my blood sugar go from 160 down to 90 uh, just because I went to Walmart oh yeah <laughs> I went to Walmart to get some some insulin and just the walking from the parking lot to the store and back was enough to get my blood sugar from 160 down to 90 just uh, I don't think it's going to be hard to keep this blood sugar under control and I'm going to go keto um, as soon as I feel a little more stable. And that's going to include... Uh, I may not want to go keto until I get these orders out, actually. Because uh, I don't know if you know much about the keto diet, but uh, there's like a flu. You get, you get the keto flu. It's like two weeks worth of uh, feeling awful. Until then, you get, like, crazy energy, and you start dropping weight like crazy. It's just, it's wonderful once you're in it, ketosis, but getting there is a, the B word. I'm well aware that there is maybe five minutes worth of actual content in this video. And I was rambling again. I want to... That's going to change. That's got to change. A lot of things... A lot of things are changing. One thing that's not changing is my hair. Well, actually my roots are crazy long right now. It looks pretty bad. Um, but we got a little snow going on here. and I, I, I just haven't felt like digging out my car. My electric car. Uh, oh god, that was stupid. You know my car is electric. Wow. I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm so sorry for, uh, for wasting your time. Give me one moment to try to see if I can remember the other things I wanted to mention. Um, any, if anyone's been, uh, sent, trying to, like, send me emails. Um, oh gosh. YouTube is not, like, notifying me about comments reliably. It used to, and so I could respond to them. Um, I also used to be in the habit of going to YouTube Studio and trying to, you know, oh, follow up on them. Uh, but since it hasn't been notifying me, I don't realize they're even coming in. Um, this latest update of Android has made notifications kind of wonky, too. So I really apologize. Um, if 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 you've sent me like an email or um, what's the best way to get a hold of me? Jeez. Because I am, I was the first uh, sh uh, Schuler whose na first name starts with a J to get a Gmail account. I get a lot of. It's not spam. It's, uh, like, newsletters for stuff I'd, I, like, I, uh, newsletters for women's bathing suits for somebody named Jennifer Schuler and, and Janine Schuler. It's frustrating. 
and I sometimes I go there and I cancel and so I'm half afraid to even scroll down and see if there's somebody screaming at me but I have to scroll through like four pages to get to the the messages that I got this morning I need a new e ah, I should get a new email address I should get a new email address for this project that's what I'm gonna do don't let me forget <laughs> Ah, uh, anyway, um, you guys are great. You're the best. Um, I want you to know that. I want you to believe that about yourself. Uh, I want you to believe that you are capable of accomplishing anything you put your mind to. The key to success. There's two things. Patience and persistence. And then a little luck, maybe. I don't believe skill is required. <sighs> and if you think about it, skill is a consequence of persistence. So, you, uh, you are one of the best people on earth. If you are hearing this, you're an amazing person. I just want you to know that. I'm willing to believe that about yourself. If you don't... If you are doubting yourself, if your self-esteem is in the gutter, I would love to talk to you when I have time. Um... You deserve to... Everybody deserves to feel comfortable in their own skin. And everybody... Alright, that's too philosophical. That's enough for today, I think. Um, I love you all. Even those of you who hate me. <laughs> Ugh. Pray for me that this prank on my dad doesn't blow up in my face too badly. <sighs> Keep on being amazing. We're not quite to hold your breath time, but... Darn it, tomorrow I want to get downstairs, like... I said I was trying to do. Actually, the place I'm going to be setting up uh, my editing computer is downstairs as well. So I'll have the editing computer and my workstation uh, in the same room, about six feet apart. Uh, actually, that'll have all the components of the process in within, you know, an eight by eight foot area. So this is good. This is good news for you. <sighs> um, I will be most likely redesigning, not redesigning, that's, that sounds like it takes time. Ugh. My, my, uh, I have to discover, ah, I have to figure out why the last... Why the last harness I built uh, failed? Um, I don't know if I made a mistake uh, in assembling it or if my mistake is in the schematic. Uh, got to figure that out. Um, I've also think I've got I've got uh, a plan for how I can make my soldering quicker. Uh, I get that soldering nailed down, and uh, this is gonna be smooth. Oh, it's going to be so great. It's going to be so great to get things out to you guys. Oh, you know what I'm going to do tomorrow? If I can't... Okay, so tomorrow, if I can't get to, to working on um, actually assembling them, I will uh, continue coding. To, uh, since I'm 
quite far. My, my version two is quite far behind from Kama's master branch. I've got a, you know, uh, merge and push that back up to my repository, and then attempt to merge it in my code. Too many changes. I got to do the whole start over thing, but it's it's. I do whatever is going to take the least amount of effort and time. Um, so I can. At least I'll be making progress on that. But even more importantly is um, the uh, paperwork that I, I want to include in the box. Uh, the ones that have gone out, and I think it's been like three that have gone out. Uh, uh, <coughs> I didn't have any paperwork ready. Um, or instructions or anything. So I, I I do need I need to get something in that box it's at the very least <laughs> a disclaimer. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna do that. Oh oh gosh ah, yes 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 I remembered the Mac. I wanted that Mac not just because of the M1 processor but because it's going to allow me to create iOS apps. I don't have any iOS devices. If you have an iPhone, I, I, I need. I want this to run on everything. I want to hit all my bases. So I'm going to use Xamarin, or they renamed it. I can't remember what they renamed it to, but using Xamarin, I should be able to write one piece of code. And then I just have to make a UI for iOS, for Android, for macOS, for Windows, and the Android, uh, both phone and tablet formats. Um, Linux, Linux 2. I want to cover all the bases so that whatever you are running, uh, you will have an app that will let you uh, install custom forks. My, what I want my app to do is actually have it not be specific to me. I want it to contain a list of available custom forks and you can just pick the one you want. And uh, I'm going to try to make it better at detecting this. Some of this is repeat information, but I want to try to make it better at detecting uh, the presence of the Eon or the Comma 2 on the network um, to make it easier. I, I want to get this to be like a one button push thing. Uh, well, that Mac, is, you have to have a Mac to write iOS software. be great if I had an iOS device to test it on, but I understand uh, that there are emulators and that may be sufficient. Um... I think I still have an Apple developer license, so uh, I, I should be able to even get this in the store. That's going to kick butt for everyone, and this is going to benefit everyone, isn't it? Oh, it's going to make it's going to make putting custom versions of OpenPilot so much easier. So much easier. Cheesier. So, speaking of cheese, don't judge me, please. This is macaroni and cheese with pulled pork on it. This was my uh, bedtime bedtime snack. It is now cold, thanks to that fan and the fact that I don't know when to shut up. So, I'm going to go out and microwave this, and I'm going to let you guys go to sleep or... Go to a rave or something, or whatever it is that you are planning to do on this beautiful Monday evening. Is it Monday? I'm sorry, I remember the scrambly, scrambly thing. Okay. This is as bad as talking on the phone with friends in high school. Where you're like, no, or not high school, grade school. Where you're like, you hang up first. No, you hang up first. Well, I had a friend who was like that. And then, you know, there's the girlfriend. 
thing, but that stuff only happens at the very beginning. Okay. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. I will give you an update tomorrow. And hope I don't know if there's going to be editing cuz I got to learn. I mean, whatever I whatever I I choose, it's going to be iMovie or Final Cut. I I just I don't want to have to waste time learning two pieces of software. That's why I am considering investing in Final Cut first. If you have any thoughts on it, let me know in the comments. That would be great. And have a good night and thanks for watching.